Hey guys, so now we're back in my kitchen again. I've just wetted my big bathrobe, which is completely white. I've made it wet so I can put it in the washer so I can dye it. And it is wet with warm water. However, you can use cold as well. It's just better to use uh, warm. And uh, you put it inside the washer. You take all your dirty junk out. Put the new one in. Okay. So, see? It's inside my washer now. And what you do next is you take your yellow dye, which in your case might be a different color, and they'll be linked below where you can buy these ones. Uh, they come in two different kinds, cotton and um, the other one is for wool, also for silk. So the one for wool and silk is going to be the same. The one for cotton is different. So there's only two different kinds, cotton and wool and silk. All right, does that make sense? Hope so. What you want to do next is you open up you open up your tray and as you can see it's a bit dirty from the last time I dyed my red clothing. So then I just open up my new package. This is the yellow dye, even though it looks orange, but it is yellow. So then all you have to do is dump the contents in where your where you would put your washing detergent one package is 10 grams and it's good for half a kilo of clothes but what I do is I use one package for about three or four pieces of clothing Then what you want to do is you want to put salt. So I've got this kind of salt. This is the regular salt. And then I put it on top. cover all the to cover all of the crystals of the dye and that's it um, the last thing you want to put in there is vinegar okay. 
the vinegar is gonna go in where the fabric softener goes so in this little and you want to fill it up to the top then you close that up and now what you want to do is close up your washing machine and turn it on a program called cotton 90, 60 and 40 degrees so any kind of program that's for cotton and it's for 90, 60 or 40 degrees will work you don't want to put it on 90 degrees because you're going to ruin your clothes you don't want to put it on 40 degrees because the color is not going to get soaked through and it's not going to stick to the fabric to the fiber and the optimal temperature would be 60 so what I do is I set it on the program which is for my cottons it's number one and then I adjust my temperature to 60 it's already on 60 and then I adjust um, I don't need to adjust anything else and then you just press start all right and when the program finishes the bathrobe in this case is going to come out beautifully yellow uh, but we'll see what happens as soon as it's finished washing and don't be alarmed if your the inside of your washing machine um, turns into different colors you can always take care of that by uh, spraying spraying some hydrogen peroxide to the inside of the container where you put your dyes and this is going to eliminate any color uh, residue from it so then I just press my uh, start okay starting okay we'll be back in about half an hour or an hour when it finishes washing at 60 degrees with salt with vinegar with the dye inside the dye can be purchased from the link below my bathrobe is made of cotton so don't put uh, anything wool or any oh no synthetics if you put synthetics they're not going to get colored so only cotton for this kind of dye and I'll do another tutorial for um, things like wool silk and maybe some some um, synthetics as well because I have dye for that too all right we'll see you in a little bit